As twins, Amy and I were always close, but our differences became more pronounced as we grew older. Our rivalry over gender roles and stereotypes was a constant source of tension. Amy excelled in traditionally feminine pursuits, while I was drawn to activities that were considered masculine. Our disagreements often escalated into heated debates that left us both frustrated. One summer day, our mother decided she had had enough of our bickering. With a sly smile, she challenged us to a water fight to determine who would get to wear her prized red dress. Amy and I exchanged determined glances before accepting the challenge. The sun beat down on us as we filled water balloons and armed ourselves with squirt guns. Amy's laughter echoed through the backyard as she launched the first attack, drenching me from head to toe. Determined not to be outdone, I retaliated with a well-aimed water balloon that burst on impact against her chest. As the water fight raged on, our clothes clung to our bodies and our hair dripped into our eyes. Finally, after an epic showdown involving buckets of water, water guns, and even a strategically placed hose, I emerged victorious. Gasping for breath and soaked to the bone, Amy conceded defeat. Looks like you get to wear the red dress, Carl, she said, grinning through her dripping hair. I hesitated, feeling a mix of triumph and trepidation. As I slipped into the dress, the fabric clung to my wet skin, and I couldn't help but feel exposed. Amy's eyes sparkled with amusement as she handed me a makeup kit. Come on, Carl, let's have some fun, she encouraged. Over the next hour, Amy patiently guided me through the process of applying makeup. I felt a strange combination of vulnerability and excitement as I looked at my reflection in the mirror. The reflection staring back at me was a far cry from the confident, competitive boy I had always seen. As I walked around in the dress, my initial discomfort gradually gave way to a sense of freedom. I felt liberated from the rigid expectations that had defined my identity for so long. And surprisingly, I enjoyed the sensation of the soft fabric against my skin. However, the world outside our backyard was less forgiving. During a trip to the shopping mall, a man made a derogatory comment as he passed by, reinforcing the very gender biases Amy and I had been grappling with. The comment stung, a painful reminder of the harsh realities we faced. But as the days went on, I found myself embracing this new perspective. I wore the dress around the house, experimented with different outfits, and even dared to wear makeup in public. With each step, I felt a sense of empowerment that challenged my previous beliefs about gender superiority. Through this journey, Amy remained by my side, helping me navigate the complexities of embracing femininity. Her unwavering support and understanding were instrumental in my transformation. Our conversations shifted from arguments to heartfelt discussions about identity, societal expectations, and the absurdity of stereotypes. In the end, my realization was profound. Wearing a dress didn't diminish my worth as a person. It didn't define me or confine me to a particular role. It was merely a piece of clothing that I had the freedom to wear or not wear, just like anyone else. The boy in the red dress became more than just a story of sibling rivalry and transformation. It was a testament to the power of self-discovery, personal growth, and the capacity to challenge societal norms. Amy and I shattered the boundaries that had confined us, and in doing so, we embraced our individuality and found strength in breaking away from rigid gender roles. As I stood in front of the mirror, looking at myself in the red dress, I felt a sense of pride. The reflection staring back at me was no longer bound by the limitations of gender stereotypes, but was a unique individual on a journey of self-acceptance and empowerment.